Welcome back. This is chapter 4, uh, the old clock shop. And today, I'm going to explain passage number 3rd to you. So here we go. Ray used the chance to look closely at the man, paying attention to the shape of a can and a restless hand in the man's right coat pocket. So, as the customer turned back, and was uh, having a chat with his uh, other friend. So this was an opportunity for Mr. Ray to look him closely. So he looked at his uh, pocket, uh, that, the, that his hand was there in the uh, pocket, uh, uh, right coat pocket, that is, uh, right side of his uh, coat's pocket, that is, his right hand was in his pocket, and he uh, studied the pocket, his hand, say, or his pocket, or that part. Uh, he noticed something like, uh, a, like uh, something appeared in the shape of gun, and that his hand was restless, and he found that his hand was uh, moving frequently. Anger boiled within him, but it was kept down by an inner voice that said be still anger ball he was he got very angry he was boiling with anger but he kept down his uh, temper as the inner voice told him to be still as a uh, the conscience inner conscience that is his soul I told him, asked him to be still, to be quiet, and not to react. He wrote on the notepad, may I help you? Then he wrote on the notepad, that is Mr. Rain wrote on the notepad, may I help you? If I can, if I can provide you any kind of assistance, any kind of help, written by Mr. Ray. For the first time, the older man looked directly at Ray and smiled. And this is the first time that the older man, that is the customer, looked directly into Mr. Ray's eyes and smiled. A cruel, mocking smile. It was a cruel and mocking smile. The smile was cruel, very hard, very harsh. And mocking was funny. That is, though the, there was smile on his face, but that face did uh, that uh, happiness was not uh, uh, reflected of his his inner feeling. That is, uh, the man, the customer, had uh, been suffering from inside, but uh, his smile spoke of something else. His smile could not speak of that uh, that very uh, thing. Uh, they both understood why he was there, uh, why his friend remained at the door. Now both of them uh, realized the real motive uh, of their actions, real motive of their coming to the shop the one standing at the door, everything was understood by both of them. That is, customer realized, uh, uh, realized uh, the thing about uh, the shopkeeper and the shopkeeper, Mr. Ray, uh, realized the real intention or the motive of the man, the customer. They look like men who were down on their luck and were now ready to try something they would later be sorry about. So, Mr. Ray realized that they were down on their luck, that uh, they were unlucky, uh, they were not having luck to their side on that, on that, a uh, special occasion that is celebration time and they were having no money down on luck means having no money and so uh, they were ready to try something uh, that they would be sorry about later uh, they were trying something uh, they were trying to do something uh, of which 
they would regret later. So this is all for now. Thank you.